I'm the research lead. I'm Elijah, and I'm the product designer. I'm Kane, and I'm the documentation lead. And my name is Axel, and I'm the outreach lead. And, and we, we are the State, State of the Heart. Heart. Let's talk about the problem that State of the Heart aims to solve. For many patients with end-stage heart failure, getting a heart transplant is the best way to restore heart function. But with a shortage of donor hearts available, many patients end up on the heart transplant wait list for years, and some even die while waiting for a heart to become available. Ventricular assist devices, or VADs, are devices implanted in the patient's body to assist the heart and prolong a patient's life as they wait for a transplant. VADs are powered with a drive line that runs inside of the body to charge the device. Unfortunately, these drive lines create many infection concerns and negatively impact a patient's quality of life. State of the Heart is working to solve this complex web of problems by making wireless VADs a possibility, eliminating the need for a drive line and drastically improving a patient's quality of life. Why do you think it is important to continue developing heart solutions and technologies? Because a heart is vital, right? I mean, I saw when we went through our experience, many kids that go into the cardiac unit in the children's hospital and don't come out of it. Most of them don't. We were one of them up in there. A few minor changes. Um, the blade uh, overall curvature um, without any motion is a little bit less uh, aggressive and uh, also so we're going to basically sort of make this uh, similar to a helicopter swash plate. Our original idea was to develop a cheaper and non-invasive solution for coronary artery disease by using a detergent to dissolve the plaque in the arteries. However, this turned out to be illogical because it is too hard to block out the detergent from spreading out into the bloodstream and into vital organs. Therefore, we decided to change ideas and work on the newest generation of wireless ventricular assist devices instead for people that need heart transplants and aren't currently able to get one. This technology helps blood flow in the arteries. We will innovate upon this technology by creating a sort of fail-safe in case of battery failure in this new generation of wireless VADs. We will implement variable pitch, which is when the blades rotate around their long axis to change the blade pitch, resulting in a better angle of attack. We designed our product in CAD. As you can see here, our blades are able to move freely up and down. The blades will utilize the cylinder to tilt the angle of attack. You can imagine a pencil going through the cylinder and tilting up and down to tilt the angle of the blades. We took a public poll to see what the public thought about using quality of life in your medical design. Since we're designing a medical device, we want to make sure we're always considering the patients as the end consumer of our project. One of the poll respondents said that there's a difference between living and surviving. One shouldn't sacrifice quality of life just to rush a product and make money. And that's what we at State of the Heart are really considering, is that ethical implications of our device. transition to a circle, you know, a, a, a cylinder going along the axis of the blade, a round circle, and then instead of that bushing that's going with a pin through it, that bushing would be a separate part. And so your blade would go through that bushing. Okay. So basically you drill a hole like you were going from blade to blade through those center bushings. And also the jaws of the instruments here get really, really hot. And so the surgeon has to wait a long time for them to cool down before they can do the next seal and cut. And so it's a very inefficient, slow procedure. So we can do things potentially. So in part one, we've had to find a problem. Stay tuned for part two, where we're gonna have our cat model and a prototype. I'll see you there.